welcome back to Gapy's Grill Room. Today we're starting tomatoes, one of my favorite things to start every year. Last year I started them on March 2nd and this year I'm doing the same, except this time I'm going to be starting half of them today and the other half next week. So these are the ones that take a little bit longer, um, I think 70 to 90, 90 days for harvest. So that's why I wanted to get these started sooner. And what I'm going to be doing is planting them in these six packs. These are oversized cells, so they can stay in here longer before being repotted. Last year I used these and they were able to stay in here for at least one month before I transplanted them into a four inch container, which I have a stack of over here. And these are also a little bit larger than your regular four inch containers. And I've always gotten some really good reviews on my tomato starts that I sell. So I'm going to show you how I get those done. I use a Jiffy starting mix. And last year I actually tried a different starting mix and it didn't do as well as the Jiffy, so I'm going back to Jiffy. And the only reason I used a different brand last year is because I couldn't find any Jiffy anywhere. It was just too early in the season, I guess. So starting mix is very dry, so you need to moisten it up before you start using it. So I'm going to have a separate container here, so I'm just going to dump some in here. And it looks like I'm running a little bit low, but hopefully I'll have enough to finish this first set of tomatoes. Okay, and I've got a, this is actually warm water, so I'm going to just dump a little bit in the container. And some people just walk away and let it sit for 20 minutes or so, but there's no need for that. All you need to do is just mix it up with your hands or a shovel or a pitchfork. And it doesn't take long to incorporate the water into the potting mix. And we add just a little bit more. You don't want it to be dripping wet, but just moist enough that it forms a little bit of a ball. And let me talk about the varieties I'm planting today. And actually all these varieties that I'm doing today, I got from seed swaps or contests. Um, there's one, actually this one here, the Goose Creek. I went to a heirloom tomato festival last year and this was one of my favorite tomatoes that I tried there. So I bought a couple tomatoes and I saved the seeds from it. But all the rest of these are from plant swaps or seed swaps. So besides the Goose Creek, I've got chocolate stripes. And there's a few of these I only have two seeds of, so I'm really hoping they germinate. So chocolate stripes, I only have two seeds of. Purple calabash cherry, I have two seeds. And sweet tangerine, I have two seeds. I think the sweet tangerine is actually a hybrid tomato, so I can't save the seeds from that one. And then I've also got Striped Red Cavern. This one is a, a unique, it kind of looks like a bell pepper, but this is the one that takes the longest for harvest. It's, I think, 90 days. So that one I definitely want to get started early. I also have Black Crim, San Marzano, Plum, Paul Robeson, Isis Candy Cherry, Wapsipinicon Peach, and finally the Aunt Ruby's German Green. And this is just half of the tomatoes that I'm going to be starting this year. Okay, so let's get back to the potting mix. So I have these large cells and I'm just gonna fill each one. Make sure you pat down the potting mix so it gets all the way to the bottom. You don't need to press it too hard, just lightly. And I'm gonna be doing three of each variety, except for the ones that I only have two seeds of, obviously. And I'm just going to plant one seed in each cell. And if there's any that don't germinate, I'll just start some more if I have more seeds when I do the other tomatoes. Okay, that should be good. Cool. 
I'm going to start with the ones that I only have two seeds of. And I already did up some labels and I just did one of each variety. And basically what I'll do, so like for the sweet tangerine, I'm going to have two seeds. So I'll just have two cells. So I'm going to put the label facing that direction so that I know that those two cells are that tomato. So I'm going to be very careful I don't lose these because there's only two seeds in here. And I usually just make a very small hole. I don't plant it too deep. And I'll just drop the seed in the hole and then cover it up lightly. All right, so that's three varieties done. And I'm gonna be doing 11 varieties today. So I'm gonna set this aside. And I'll start another batch. Well, unfortunately, I ran out of seed starting mix. I still have four tomato varieties left to go. So I'm going to have to make a run to Lowe's and hope that they have some Jiffy starting mix. So I'll be back and we'll finish this up. I'm back. Good news. I found some starting mix. Not only that, I found some pretty crocuses. I've been looking for these all over and I haven't been able to find any, but I found some at Lowe's. These are a, looks like a white with some dark purple. So I can't wait to get those planted. But now I can finish planting my tomatoes. So I'm gonna get these finished up and then I'll show you guys what I do next. Now that the tomatoes are all in the potting mix, I'm gonna get them put into a tray like I can fit all of these in one tray and then I'm gonna move these over to my grow shelf this is my grow shelf for starting seeds and I have a this is a root radiance brand heat mat but any brand will work and I have the this doesn't usually come with the heat mats but I have this thermostat um, and I set, you can set it to any temperature you want, but when I start siege, I usually set it to about 72 degrees. And this is what goes into the, the potting mix to keep track of the soil temperature. So before I do that, I'm just going to give them a little bit of water just on the surface. There's already a considerable amount of water from when we moisten the soil so they don't need too much but we don't want them to dry out okay and we're just going to put this in one of the middle ones kind of towards the corner of one of the cells and this will show the current temperature so it's going up a little bit, so 65.8. So it'll take a, a little while to get the current temperature. And then it'll keep the, the mat warm until it gets to the, the right temperature and then it'll turn off so it doesn't get too hot. And I cover it with this plastic tray just to keep the humidity in. And you'll wanna check the seedlings every, probably after the second day you can check them. They probably won't be germinating after two days, but you want to check the soil um, to make sure it doesn't dry out. And if it looks like it's dry, then just give it some, some squirts of water. So it'll take probably about four days. So you want to start checking it every day after about three or four days. And once they start germinating, then you can get them moved over to the lights. So I'm going to cover this up. And that's all it takes to get the seed started and I'll be doing another update when they've started germinating. Thanks for watching.